In this video, I will be showing you how to solve for maximum and minimum points of quadratic equations by completing the square. Now, what completing the square is, is it's essentially a way of re-expressing or rewriting quadratic formulas in order to find the maximum and minimum points. So I'm going to start off by writing down an equation that you already know. a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Uh, another equation is a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And as I go further on, you'll understand why I'm using these equations and what we're going to do with them. So firstly, we want to rearrange this equation to a plus b squared minus b squared, so just moving the b squared over, equals a squared plus 2ab. And we have over here a minus b whole squared minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab. We want to be able to remember these expressions as we're solving or as we're learning how to complete the square. So anyway, let's move on to our first example. Let's say that we have the equation x squared minus 2x plus 4 and we have to complete the square. Now the first step when completing the square is to separate the ones place. So we have x squared minus 2x, let's put this in a bracket, and then plus 4 here off on the side. And now in order to complete the square, we want to make this part of our equation that we put in the bracket match this equation that we wrote back up here, or a squared plus 2ab, but in this case it's going to be a squared minus 2ab because we have a minus sign over here. So once again, we want to make this equation match this equation over here. So how do we do that? Well, we can see that the x squared looks similar to the a squared. Therefore, our value of a would be equal to x. And our value for 2ab, so minus 2ab, 2ab is equal to 2 times x. And we know that a is equal to x. So 2 times x is equal to 2 times x times b. Don't know why that's a 0. And from this, we get that our value of b is equal to 1. There, so b is equal to 1. So once again, we have our value for a, which is equal to x, and b, which is equal to 1. Now, why we're doing this is because we have an expression that's similar to a squared minus 2ab. And we want to make it look like this. So a minus b squared, a minus b whole squared minus b squared. And now that we know what the values of a and b are, that's very simple. So we deduce that a is equal to x, once again, and that b is equal to 1. So a minus b would be x minus 1 whole squared minus b squared. So what we did was we made this expression match this expression first, and then using that knowledge, we made it look like this expression. And over here, b would be 1 squared. And we have to add the plus 4 as well. So once again, we have x minus 1 whole squared minus 1 squared plus 4. From this, we get x minus 1 whole squared 1 squared is 1, minus 1 plus 4 is plus 3. So once we've completed the square, we get the equation x minus 1, let's fix this squared, squared plus 3. And this is equal to the same original equation which we had, which was x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now at this point, you're probably wondering, what's the point of completing the square or getting our equation to look like this? Well. In reality, what we can do with this equation is we can solve much more easily for the maximum and minimum points of our equation. There is a law that states that if we have any equation, x minus h whole squared plus k, our maximum or minimum point is h k. And when we're completing the square, what we're doing is we're rewriting our equation in this format 
And because of that, we're able to easily solve for our maximum or minimum point. So once again, the equation up here that we received was x minus 1 whole squared plus 3. And in this case, you can see that our h is equal to 1 and our k is equal to 3. Therefore, our minimum point, and we know that it's minimum because the coefficient of x squared is positive, so the minimum point is equal to 1, 3. I'm going to go over one more example just to make this concept a bit clearer for you. So let's say that we have the equation 2x squared plus 4x plus 5, I'm sorry, minus 4x plus 5. And we are asked to solve for either the minimum or maximum point of our curve. So let's quickly on the side rewrite the equation that we had up top. That was that a minus b whole squared minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab. So once again, what we want to do is separate the ones place. So we have 2x squared minus 4x and then plus 5. And we want to make this part of our equation match this side of the equation over here. So 2x squared minus 4x to match a squared minus 4ab. Now, one quick thing that I want to note is we don't want to have any number in front of x. So we're going to cancel that out or multiply the whole entire thing by that number. So we have 2 times x squared minus 2 in brackets plus 5, simply because we wanted to get the x with no coefficients. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this part of our equation match a squared minus 2ab. So a squared, once again in this case, a is equal to, or a squared is equal to x squared, therefore a is equal to x, and minus 2ab is minus 2, so therefore 2ab is equal to 2. This gives us a value that, or 2x actually, this should be 2x, therefore 2x times b is equal to 2x, b is equal to 1. So our value for a is x, and our value for b is 1. Now we're going to plug it into this side of the equation to make it match this format. So we get, let's write out everything on the outside, 2 times, then we're going to rearrange it using the format. We get x minus 1 whole squared minus 1 squared and then plus 5. Now we can expand this whole entire thing. We get 2 times x minus 1 whole squared minus negative 1 squared is negative 1. So we get 2 times negative 1 which gives us minus 2 and plus 5 giving us an answer of 2 times x minus 1 whole squared plus 3. And we have successfully completed the square. Now looking back at our equation up here with x minus h squared plus k, forgot to add an a over here, a times x minus h whole squared plus k, our maximum or minimum point is hk. So once again we have our format of a times x minus h whole squared plus k. We can see what matches what, so 2 matches our a, the h matches 1, and the k matches 3. So we have a maximum point of, or actually minimum point of hk, which is 1, 3. And this is our minimum point.